What if the next generation of warships no longer simply waited for orders, but instead could think, analyze, and fight as part of an intelligent combat network? This is the future South Korea is now beginning to shape. Amidst the accelerating pace of global military technology, Hanwha Ocean is unveiling a bold vision for 21st century naval warfare a surface combatant powered by artificial intelligence. And at the center of that vision stands the Ocean 74FN, a 7,400-ton stealth warship designed for full-spectrum warfare and explicitly aimed at the global export market. Today, we'll dissect the Ocean 74FN, understand how AI is changing the rules of the sea, and why such concepts are so relevant to navies in the Indo-Pacific region. The Ocean 74FN is more than just a large frigate or a conventional destroyer. It represents a shift in naval design philosophy, where artificial intelligence is no longer an added feature but a core operating principle. In Hanwha Ocean's vision, AI plays a direct role in command and control, cross-domain sensor fusion, unmanned systems management, as well as reducing crew workload and accelerating combat reaction times. This isn't science fiction. It's a response to the realities of modern naval warfare where decisions must be made in seconds, not minutes. Now, let's look at the physical platform. At 7,400 tons, the Ocean 74FN is firmly in the destroyer class. It measures 145.6 meters in length, 18.8 .8 meters in beam, is powered by a gas turbine propulsion system and can reach speeds of approximately 27 knots. This combination provides sufficient range, endurance, and speed to operate alongside carrier groups, expeditionary forces, or independently in vast and contested maritime areas. This is a ship designed not just for patrol, but for high-intensity conflict. One of the Ocean 74FN's most striking design features is its inverted bow. This configuration enhances high wave penetration capability, increases fuel efficiency, and reduces radar signature. Combined with a stealthy hull and superstructure, the ship is designed to minimize radar cross-section, reduce infrared and acoustic signatures, and operate closer to enemy territory with a significantly lower risk of detection. In the sensor-dense and strategically competitive Indo-Pacific region, these advantages have immense operational value. Now, let's turn to firepower. From bow to stern, the Ocean 74FN is built for high-intensity, multi-domain warfare. At the bow is a 127mm naval gun, effective for shore fire support, anti-surface engagement, and limited air defense roles. Aft. The ship is equipped with 48 vertical launch system cells, reportedly using the KVLS-2 configuration. This configuration allows the Ocean 74FN to carry air defense missiles, anti-ship missiles, land attack cruise missiles, and anti-submarine missiles. In short, this is a ship ready for high-level modern naval combat, not just presence missions. 
However, what truly sets the Ocean 74FN apart is its combat architecture. The ship is designed to receive targeting data from external sensors, conduct precision strikes based on off-board targeting, and operate under the coordination of higher echelon command. Its command and control system is hardened and robust, connected via wide area communications, and integrated with a constellation of low Earth orbit satellites. This means the Ocean 74 FN doesn't fight alone. It fights as part of a distributed, digitally connected naval force. Another key feature is its ability to operate alongside unmanned surface vehicles, USVs, and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. These platforms can extend sensor range, act as reconnaissance or decoys, and significantly reduce the risk to manned vessels. This is the future of naval warfare, collaboration between manned and unmanned platforms, controlled and optimized by artificial intelligence. The Ocean 74 FN is more than just a design concept. It is a strategic statement about how future navies will fight, digitally connected, AI-powered, integrated with unmanned systems, and designed to address both symmetric conflicts and asymmetric threats. For nations modernizing their fleets, especially in the Indo-Pacific region, ships like the Ocean 74 FN represent what comes after the era of traditional frigates. The question now is simple, yet crucial. Who will be the first export customer ready to embrace AI-powered warships? If you found this article helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on the Philippines and defense modernization. Thank you for watching.